Let's start in layout mode. Use the Move tool to add some space between the panels you intend to modify. Use the Select tool to highlight the panel that will be changed. To ensure all components are in a group, right-click and if the option Make Group is there, select it. Change the view to ISO, so you can see the edges of the panel you'll modify. Select the Scale tool and click on the panel. You may need to enlarge the panel so you can see the three green handles. You can do this by using your scroll wheel on your mouse. If this moves the image off screen, use the pan tool. It's important that you can select the middle handle and not the two outside handles. By grabbing and dragging the middle handle for length and a middle handle to adjust the height, you'll be able to get the result you want. You can use the orbit tool to rotate the panel if needed, but generally you'll get length from one side and height from the shown side without needing to rotate the panel. To return to the layout view, click on the top tool. You may need to resize the view using your mouse scroll wheel and use the pan tool to bring everything into view. Use the select tool or escape key on your keyboard to release that panel. Repeat these steps to resize other panels as needed. Now let's add supports and resize those that need it. When the cleats being duplicated are the correct size, use the move tool and control key to create copies. Instructions in another video. When the support cleats will need to be scaled, you'll duplicate one cleat, scale it, then duplicate the correctly sized support cleat. Return to layout view by selecting the ISO tool and select the panel that you want to add scaled support cleats. Using the select tool, continue to click on the cleat you will copy. It may require several clicks to highlight only the cleat you'll use. Once that cleat is selected, hold down the control key and select the move tool and drag the cleat to a new position. Now select the scale tool and select the middle handle to adjust the size of this cleat. Once sized as you desire, click the move tool and hold down the control key and drag the copy to the next position. Continue to do this until you've added the number of additional cleats you want. To release the move tool, you may need to click on the escape key on your keyboard. Then to bring the other panels back up, click on any white area on the screen. But let's add dimensions first. Click on the dimension tool, then click on a start spot, move the mouse to an end spot, and then pull away to the place that you want to display the values. Click on the number to change it to what value you want to display. Add other dimensions as desired. When done, click on the Select tool or on the Escape key on your keyboard and add dimensions to other panels. Be sure to check out our other videos.